Hey guys, it's the Carmichael sisters. Minus one because Cheyenne is currently on her way back from Germany. Yep, and this is Justice and I'm Heaven. Yes. Um, I think she's going to be home at 10 p.m. tonight, but we will see. So she is not going to be in the video today, but she should be back for next week. Next week. So if you miss her. And our Thursday <laughs> video should be of her this week if she remembers to send me the videos of yes. Germany. So um, for today... This lovely Sunday, freezing Sunday, we went to Public Parlor House. It's a cafe, and I hope you enjoy this footage and wait for our review at the end. Hey guys, so that was our little montage of the parlor house. So we're just gonna kind of go over again what we got and our thoughts on the place. So we've been to this place, this isn't our first time. We've been here, I think three times now, but we only ate in twice um, today and the first time we ever came here. So I got the iced mocha, it's technically an iced latte with mocha sauce, and then also their breakfast sandwich. Both love. I love this place. Um, food wise, drink wise, they're really good. Um, you can order it to go or for there. So like you can get it into co to go cup if you want, or you can get it with a glass or like a mug if it's a hot drink. Or a cocktail glass. Yeah, or a cocktail glass. <laughs> yeah, so these people, we stopped these people and asked what they got because they had like this blue and green drink in a cocktail glass. And it was coffee. Yeah, and it was coffee. Um, they do cocktails though, afternoon. Yes. Yeah, so um, yeah. so it, you can actually get alcohol here, but it's only 10 a.m. So we're not going to do that. If I also got the breakfast sandwich. They don't have very many food options there for breakfast. I did see their menu for like evening time. It seems like they have a couple, like a little more. They do have pastries. Yeah, they have pastries. Um, so I got the breakfast sandwich and then I got a vanilla latte with oat milk. I always try to like get something new but a lot of their stuff just had a lot going on and i'm not really a fan of like coffees with a ton of stuff in it yeah they have a lot of flavors so if you're into trying new coffees this is a good place for yeah you. it was just like they had a bunch of stuff into certain drinks so i was like mm -hmm. i'm usually not a huge fan of that um loved the coffee love the food it's delicious i feel like i do have like pros and cons to this place it is so cute. The vibes are good. The vibes are good. Um, such a cute place if you wanted to like meet with people or whatever. However, my cons, super expensive. I literally, both of us, mm -hmm. we just got one drink and one sandwich and my total was $23. So I think that's kind of insane. For that's breakfast. including tip. Yeah. Um, so it is pretty expensive. Um, so mine was... I think hers is a little different because she got a different drink than I did. But I mine was... Bacon. Yeah, she also got bacon. Um, I did not, as usual. But hers... Mine was $20 without tip. And then tip was $3 because it's automatically... You give 20 22 or 25 You can also do a custom amount, I'm pretty sure it said. But I just usually do whichever. I do 20 everywhere I go, pretty much. Sometimes I'll do... 22 just to be the middle ground kind of person depending on how much my ticket was because like if I only had like a $10 ticket I can afford $3 to $4 tip that's perfectly fine um but it was pretty expensive another con about that place is the seating yeah um if you don't come here early we got here at like 9 today 9 30 um if you don't do that you're not getting seating it is you have to sit there and wait for people to move yeah. But this, a lot of college kids come here. Yeah, this place has to be super popular. People like it because, I mean, every time we've come here, it is, like, popping. Like, there are, there's no seating yeah. at all. Yeah. I noticed also, a lot of college groups come yeah. and do, like, progress. 
like study groups together here and they only have a certain amount of like long tables or circular tables the like regular is, tables yeah the rest is like seating like cushions well you stuff. saw like in the video like they have like couches and then they have like little like coffee tables which super cute yeah I, super impractical cute. so impractical especially not if you order coffee but if you order food, like, you have to, like, be hunching over, like, the table, like, to mm. eat it. Or you have to carry your plate and, and, like, eat it like this. We did have a regular table at first, which you probably will see in the video. Yeah. But it was, like, we, so wobbly. It was so wobbly. We spilled Justice's drink, like, three yeah, times. Yeah, it was, I got annoyed, so we moved. <laughs> yeah, so we moved to a smaller table. Um, There was a, so I didn't get much footage of this because it was kind of far away. But there was a upstairs seating area and it only has like two couches and then like a few like love seats um the i remember those the stairs is very narrow so i recommend like trying not to go up there if you're bad with stairs because i'm extremely bad with stairs i fall all the time so but that seating's good that's where we sat last time because yeah. that was the only open spot last time we came today we came earlier and we got some seating though yeah i've noticed i clocked it if you come around 10 a.m yes you might as well order to go yes i did order to go before um and another little con is they're very fast with their coffees but yeah. if you get their breakfast sandwich it does take a long time it took a 20 minutes i think we yeah. got there at like 9 40 and we didn't get our sandwiches till like a little bit after 10. yeah so if you order a small drink i got their largest which i think is 16 ounces and then i think their smallest is 12 ounces um if you get a small drink you might finish it before you get yeah. the sandwich and they you can do refills yeah. but like you have to pay for it obviously <laughs> overall i really think if you don't mind spending a little more money on some coffee and pastries yeah. and sandwich whatever this place is honestly really cute and it's really good like it i'm not taking away from that no. i just am not too fond of spending 20 something dollars on just one sandwich yeah. and one coffee if we're not going off pricing i would say this place yeah. is like a nine out of ten yes I would um, too. it's very good and it only loses the one point because of the seating however it has been cold every single time we came and there is outdoor seating like yes. park benches kind of seating yeah my only thing is with pricing it's more expensive than even starbucks to it, it really is like um, i get this pretty much the same thing at starbucks obviously not as good and I don't, I hate, well, I've said it before, I don't like Starbucks, but it is more convenient sometimes with the time that I have to get up in the morning. Um, but I get the same thing and I get, I spend like $10 at Starbucks and that is literally double the price. Yeah, I, um, I get the same thing everywhere we go, like an egg sandwich and an iced mocha. And that's just because I feel like you can't mess up ice mochas. If you do, then you don't deserve to be a coffee house. I um, should also mention, I'm sorry, real quick, and then I'll be done talking because I've said all I said. Um, the pricing also could be the fact that I'm pretty sure they get all of their um, food and espresso and stuff like that from like local suppliers, which I love when coffee shops and restaurants do that. So that could be part of why it's a little more expensive um i'm pretty sure i think also the atmosphere of it just makes it like yeah. they can price their stuff more because they know college kids are going to come here and study because it is a good place if i was going to study i would not come to this place because of how packed it is i don't know how you get any work done but for study groups or for like projects it would be a really good place for that or meeting up with your girlfriends yeah or like yeah doing like a girls day here would be great um, they also have a little like party room that you can rent out. Um, you can rent out the whole space as well. Oh yeah, and you can rent out half of it. And yeah. we still haven't figured out how, yeah. what that means. A little confused. But, but you can rent out exactly half of the place. Um, we were discussing that the first time we came here and we were trying to figure out what the heck that meant. But it's nice. Um, I would come here again, just maybe not on days where like we're budgeting. Um, <laughs> Cause that's a little difficult. Yeah. Hey guys, so that was our review of the Parlor Public House, or Public Parlor House. I'm not sure which one it is. Google it. Um, it was good, and based off, not based off pricing, it would be a 9 out of 10. With pricing, I would say a 7 or an 8, just because of how expensive it is. But yeah, we do this every single Sunday. 
and we also post every Thursday, but they're not gonna be coffee related every single time. It's gonna be a little random. Last week we did some shopping in Broad Ripple and some thrift shopping at Goodwill, so go watch that video. I'll have it linked at the end. And then also we have a TikTok you can go and follow. It is Carmichael Sisters. If you just look that up on TikTok, you should be able to find us. We are gonna try posting more on there. We haven't really been doing that just because we have full-time jobs and it can be a little difficult and Justice is a softball coach, so she doesn't get home until like six like or seven. Jobs. <laughs> yeah, so it's a little hard to post on there, but we are trying to post more. And once Cheyenne gets back from Germany, we will do a small little introductory video on there at some point. So stay tuned. This will come out on Sunday and then our this Thursday video well, I guess it would be after this, so never mind. But go, go watch our Thursday videos as well. They won't always be coffee related, so they can be a little fun to go watch and see what we do. But we will see you next week. Bye. Oh, wait. Let me do the heart for Cheyenne since she's not here. Why do you guys do it like that? Just it a looks, regular I, That person. doesn't look good. That looks like a heart. That doesn't look good. That looks like a heart. That doesn't look good. Look my, at that heart. Compared, mine okay, doesn't. Now, do your heart. Do your heart heart weird <laughs>